Nick Namor says, This story isn't about me, it's about my dad, but it has really inspired me. About four months ago, my dad went under the last six wheels of a semi for the first 24 hours. It wasn't looking good, but he made it. His injuries read like a book bleeding on the brain. His foot was nearly torn off, his legs were shattered, and his hands were crushed for the next week. Or so they thought they would have to take his leg, but they managed to save it for the first three months. He was in high spirits, he didn't let it get to him. But after three months of not being home, would get to anyone, of course. However, he used that desire to get home. And as soon as he could wait bare, he was up and training. He's still really skinny, but all his former muscle is coming back. And we're all hoping he will be able to come home soon. I pray that your dad come home soon. If you look around closely, inspiration is everywhere. There are much more worse adversities. NoFap is nothing. The struggle of NoFap is nothing in, in front of these adversities and people who are overcoming it. So you can always take inspiration from where you can. Many says, my journey began back in August last year. I suffered a terrible phone addiction. Like many guys here, it rotted my brain. Because of it, my social skills were ruined. I still had friends that did support me. After trying and trying, I'm reaching my destination as of today. My physique is getting up to date. No matter how much I struggle or relapse, I still got up on my feet. Self-reflection is also a major factor in self-improvement. True, you have to first realize what you are doing wrong in your life. Where did you go wrong? Then you realize your goals, purpose. After that, you start grinding for what you want to achieve. I'm getting the achievements I wanted in life as of now. It's like climbing a mountain and struggling, but you keep going. I like to say to myself, the harder you work, the better the results. I limit my screen time now. I'm working out as much as I can. I'm prepping actual healthy meals for myself rather than grabbing the sweet stuff. My hygiene is also getting better. Porn addiction is real. It's a threat to every man. Once you say, hey, it won't hurt to do it for the first time. Next thing you know, you're doing it up to three times a day. Stay strong, kings. You see how you remove just one aspect from your daily life and that is prawn itself. And suddenly you start seeing some drastic changes. I'm really proud of this guy. He's actually putting some effort and seeing results and he's working on his dream. I think the journey matters the most than the destination and journey is what makes it worth it. So I hope this video inspired a bit to keep yourself in the journey and keep moving forward. So Spartans, I'll see you on day four. Till then, remember to be brave. Oh!